Hello everyone, that's Tori from Modern Warships. November is approaching and heavy rains come to the island of Iceland's map. And it seems even colder in the Arctic. Meanwhile, at Greenland's all the same heat. Meet the new update, Hidden Threat, with a huge amount of new content. We added a lot of equipment for dollars and gold. We walk squad bottles and once again optimize the graphics. In the free battle pass you can get a brand new swordship destroyer, armed with built-in SWS-3RC railgun, which can also fire attack craft. Yeah, shooting fighters is not that easy, but destroying a helicopter or shooting down a bomber duck is a quite an easy task. Among other weapons, a unique SWS MLRS bomber is installed on board. It has a guidance system and it's quite capable of hitting enemy ships at a long distance. The sword ship has good stealth and maneuverability characteristics, but it has a little more than 300,000 hit points. Meet the new heavy cruiser USS Massachusetts. Like Swordfish, it's equipped with railguns, but a slightly different configuration. Two twin MJ L12 railguns are mounted on the front. They have a impressive rate of fire and good projectile flight ballistics. And at the stern, there's a B100 bomber with a large number of charges. The air defense here is also unique. Six Excalibur laser systems capable of incinerating AM aircraft in a matter of seconds. Additionally, three autocannon slots, two torpedoes, and three missile slots. And you get a pretty impressive number of weapons. However, the ship pays for all this with a not very good dynamics. Maximum speed and maneuverability are not as strong as sight. Massachusetts will be available at the port for gold. We also want to get our aviators happy. The LH-6 USS America aircraft carrier is available for purchase for dollars. Its main striking force will be the drones, for which two slots are located. The ship has good air defense as well three of the cannons and a bomb launcher. With careful use, it will become a very dangerous opponent for the enemy team. I was speaking of drones. The VIP Battle Pass features an American MQ-20 armed with Brimstone and Nemesis missiles, and also the X-51 controlled by a laser beam. And if that's not enough, GBU-16 bombs can be used. The drone will look great for any aircraft carrier. On the second tier we added the USS Kid, available buying for dollars. This American destroyer has two cannon slots, a missile slot, a torpedo mount, and a helicopter. And also four impressive points for air defense. We also installed a new MK-26 air defense missile system on this destroyer. What's that? Does it smell like gasoline? Meet the new skin for Cruiser 2145. This toothy demon seems to have come straight out of the flames. In addition to the fantastic burning effect, it leaves a fiery plume on the water. A great acquisition for Halloween, isn't it? Camouflage is available in the game for 14,000 gold. Dear viewers, at your request we have moved players who play in squads to a separate battle mode. In random combat, squads of several people could quickly deal with the single players. But now they will try their hand at combat against the same squads. For this, the Squadron Wars mode is still available. Now a little about the graphics. We have redesigned the external view of the aircraft's combat display and now it looks more informative. Some aircraft received signal lights, and torpedoes received a plume of bubbles. 
We also added two T1 ships. It's British HMS Trent and German S21. They would be interesting for both the starting players and for those who are tired from the high tier combats. Just try them now by yourself. And that's all for today. I don't know what about you, but I can't wait to play the new update. It's Turi with you. I will meet you in the fields of naval battles, commanders. Yeah.